Hey, yesterday we talked a bit about learned helplessness theory. You can find the link in the description. And like I said, there are some issues with the theory. So in 1978, Seligman and his colleagues reformulated the idea of learned helplessness to explain two important things. First, when facing uncontrollable negative events, it doesn't always result in learned helplessness. Second, depressed people often say they lose self-esteem. So the reformulated theory suggests that when people deal with uncontrollable negative events, they use a thinking process called attribution. First, we have internal and external. So think whether the problem is because of your own abilities or things beyond your control. For example, a boy getting treatment for a serious injury might feel he's not getting better because he's not strong enough or because the treatment plan isn't right. If he blames himself, he might lose confidence. But if he thinks it's because of the treatment plan, he might not. And then we have a stable or unstable. So figure out if the problem is going to last a long time or is it temporary. For example, if someone believes the health issue will stick around for a long time, like a chronic disease like diabetes, they might feel more helpless and sad compared to thinking it's just a temporary problem. Finally, we have global or specific. Consider whether the issue has big widespread effects or is it specific to a certain area. So, for example, if someone felt to quit smoking and thinks, I'm not good at anything, I have no willpower, they might feel really down. But if they think, I struggle with controlling this part of my life, it's more focused and they might not feel as helpless. So people who often attribute stable and global causes for the negative events in their lives are more likely to feel helpless and depressed. If they also think the problem is internal, it can lead to a loss of self-esteem. 